Shalom. Hey, this is Stacy from Simca Souls. Simca Creates. Simca Souls and Creates. Hey, uh, coming to you because I have some thoughts on doing a vlog, a weekly vlog, just journaling my makes and things that I do to share just to be part of this community, you know? This is my little space on YouTube. So, today I'm gonna share some things that I'm working on, some ideas that I'm having, you know. Please, if you have anything, any comments, keep it clean, keep it good. Uh, or any suggestions or anything like that, please let me know. Leave it in the comments. We can work it out. Yeah, we can work it out. Okay. Um, that was kind of housekeeping. I guess it'll get better after this one. This is my first one, so just bear with me, y'all. Okay, the first thing I want to share is this pattern. Janie Pouch by Kaya Papaya. And let me show you mine. This is the Jamie pouch, number one. Jamie pouch, number two. Could you tell the difference? Look at it again. This is the first one I did. And this is the second. Okay. I love them both and they will both get used. It's a free pattern on her website, and I'll put the link in the description below. The first one, the pleats are wrong. Put them in the wrong direction. Marked them on the right side, but pleated them on the wrong side. I still like it. The top is a vinyl, and the bottom part, the fabric part, is a home decor linen, so it's a heavy linen. Oh yeah, I did the inside uh, in a black cotton, plain and simple. And the zippers I got from my handmade space, the zipper tape. But I love it, I think it's cool, and I can use it. I like the size of it. Yeah, I know I'm gonna make more of these, yeah. The second one, however, I did do on the right side. I did the pleats the right way on this one. Yeah. I like this one too. This is cool. Like I said, I like the side. And it was a quick sew. Um, this is a soft vinyl and a quilting cotton. Cotton. The lining I did on the inside is cotton. This zipper was just a zipper bundle from Wawak. W-A-W-A-K. Yeah. So, those are cool. And like I said, I like the size of them. Let me see what size this is so I can let y'all know. This is a... Okay, let me find... The size of this pouch is, it's like nine, it's like nine by seven-ish, and the depth is about three inches. So it's a nice size bag, y'all. Like I said, I love it. I will be making it. Yeah, I will. So that's going to go in my stash of bags for people I love. <laughs> give things to, or, you know, just whatever my heart wants to do with that thing, you know. Okay. This other thing. Oh, this is my little area. 
my workspace and my sewing happiness space is in our garage. The first house we had, it was only a one car garage and the garage was um, redone. It was insulated, had heating and air through it. And it was, um, yeah, it was really nice. It was, one, it was a one car garage though. This garage is two car garage, so it's bigger but it's not insulated or made for that. Uh, and it's fine. We just painted, the walls were dark gray when we moved in here. So we painted it white to keep it brightened in here because, um, yeah, to keep it bright in here because, yeah, nobody wants to be in a glum and ugh place. Anyway, and then those are my little pretty lights back there. You like my lights? I like that. So anyway, okay, this next thing I want to show you are my project bags I've been working on. Now, I only have four so far because I ran out of, hold on, I ran out of cotton for the lining. And I didn't even know that was happening. But anyway, I ran out of the cotton. These are medium size and small size bags I have cut out. These are already done, but it's only a few. And I'm going to go ahead and post them this weekend on my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is Simca Souls. I will also leave that in the description below. But I've got a gazillion in the medium and in the small size already cut and ready to go I just need my lining and some more cord so <clears throat> I have like three in this color and I have the natural cord drawstrings you see Okay, and then I have it in this fabric, which I like. I like both of them, but I like the kind of draw more to this. Yeah, and the natural cotton cord. Okay, so I have like two of with this fabric so far I have a lot more that's cut out but so far I will be two in the Etsy shop and then there's only three of the red now however I have one in the red only one with the handle the same fabric as the main fabric on there it's only just this one like this so that's something that you want. You might have to jump on that like real fast and put it in the comments or something or send me a message when you order it on the Etsy shop. So I am working on more. And I have some more to get. The other thing. I want to show you guys this. I'm thinking of doing some in this combination. Check this out. Okay. This is like a heavy cotton. It's by cotton. Yeah, cotton and steel. Remember them? I got this like four years ago. I thought it was pretty cool. And um, I had spent a lot of money in this Bernina shop in Florida. So I used to live there. We moved like three years ago and um, I had credit to use up and I wanted to use it before we moved out of state and this was one of the purchases I got a lot of it because I liked it but then I've had this really cool corduroy for a long time too see that so I thought this would be a nice combination for a project bag what do you think like that 
I do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now, what next? What next am I going to show you? What you guys working on? Leave it in the comments. Tell me what you're working on. Let me know if you're doing some project bags or things like that. Hey, sorry, that was my kids calling me. I love them. We talk almost every day. I have four. There's two that live down in Florida with my grandson. My baby boy. You'll hate me saying that. Daddy, stop saying that. And I have the two youngest that live here with me and my husband. Okay, where was I at? Okay, what's on my cutting table? Well, it's really what's on my sewing table. Yeah. This Mela Little Bucket Bag by RLR Creations. This is another free pattern. Stacy is all about the free patterns. And it's a good way to work on your skills and practice on making things. And when you make them and you like them and they're cool, then you can give them away as gifts. Yep. So I'm going to make this cross. It's a cross body bag. Isn't that cute? So the accent where that black is, is going to be waterproof canvas in this purple. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And then the body of the bag is going to be in this corduroy. Ooh. I've had this fabric for ever. At least... Oh, at least 10 years, maybe. I had a lot of it. Okay. That's the other thing. I try not to go shopping and use what I have because I have lots. And then I have friends who have lots. And then we, when I was living in Florida, we used to always do these. Um, I'm cleaning out my sewing room, so let me drop some stuff off to you. And, you know, you take out what you want and, you know, pass on the rest. And this is gonna be the lining for that bag so that'll be a cute little bag so yeah needless to, and then I worked in a fabric store I worked in two fabric stores I worked in a higher end mainly for upholstery fabrics and then I worked in um, Joanna's for a little while and yeah my paychecks I had to like fight to take home paychecks working in Joanne's um yeah the other place too so anyway that's what is on my, my sewing table what I'm currently working on are these persimmon bag persimmon dumpling bags by So Sweetness, which is a free pattern. And I will also put that link in the description as well. So I've got, I did, I've got, I cut out four. One, of course, is my sample, which I always keep. And it's this one. Cute, cute, cute. It's a nice size, too. Yeah. Yeah, look at that zipper. But anyway. And then I did a waterproof canvas on the inside, purple. Okay. You see my little balls in here? Yeah. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make with those too. Okay. So hold on a second because I'm burning up. A wonderful life. Woo. Mm -hmm. Like I said,
say, yeah, there's no installation also in the, in the garage. So I've got like two wind machines. I have a, uh, a regular door on the opposite side of the big door in the garage that I keep open and I have the wind machines going. So, you know, this is that wonderfulness that you get past a certain age, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. I gotta cool off first. Okay, so I'm not gonna be able to finish this. Whew. Okay. All right. Now, like I said, I cut out four for the persimmon dumpling bag. The first one I showed you was my, that one, the purple one right there. That was my, that was for me. Yeah. Okay, it's winding now, down now. <laughs> okay. These are the other three that I cut out. So I'm currently working on this. Focus, Stacy. This one. That's what I'm working on now. I like this one. I like colorful, big, bold stuff. Always have. That's my personality. It is. I'm working on that one. And here's the other fabric that I'm doing today. So, yeah. But this is the one so far I've got zips on it and the accent piece and I'll be finishing those up today. I'm also putting waterproof canvas in those as well. So for the red one, actually I'm going to put yeah, I got red waterproof canvas on that for the lining. I love waterproof canvas. It's so cool. Oh, child. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, and then for the blue one, this blue one I'm working on, it's going to have the blue waterproof canvas. Ain't that pretty? Yeah. And then for this orange and gray, and it's not a good light on that, but gray waterproof canvas those are for those subdued kind I'm not subdued not at all no okay so that's currently sewing table okay now Okay, what's on my, I knit, and this is what's on my knitting needles, my size 11s. It's a, or going to be <laughs> a neck cozy. This way. A neck cozy for your neck. So it can be cozy. Yeah. Y'all probably going, how is she knitting that if she can't even keep cool? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a neck cozy and it's from Pearl Soho. It's also a free pattern. 
this beautiful, beautiful yarn. Look at that. Look at that soft. I like this yarn, and I'm not a green girl, but I like this yarn. This yarn was given to me by my friend Marty. I love you, Marty, if you're watching. Okay. It is 51% virgin wool and 49% acrylic, but it is so soft. Yeah, this is, was a one skein. I needed to find, I have a lot of just one balls, one ball hmm, of yarn. So I look for a lot of those type of patterns. And I really wanted to do something quick and satisfying, you know, like an instant gratification thing because I started off working on a shawl for myself in this beautiful blue. And there was a stitch I got like yay far. And there was a stitch that I can totally see and to me it looked like it was this big although it was you know but to me that was I couldn't take it no more so I ripped it all back so I said okay then I started on a slouchy beanie and a chocolate that was really pretty even my daughter my husband everybody was like uh that's mine and the same thing I, I got distracted and I got like more than halfway from finishing it and it bothered me that this stitch I kept seeing this stitch so I ripped that all the way back to nothing it's just a ball now of yarn again so I needed something fast I needed something quick I needed to do something give me instant gratification and so I did the neck cozy yeah and I'm so enjoying this I'm loving this yeah so hopefully I'll be finished next week I should be I should be finished next week y'all yeah, willing nothing's going on and I can finish this and show it to you <laughs> you can see it in action thank you Marty for the yarn Okay, so let me show you some patterns or some knitting projects I would love to do. By the way, too, I checked out this person on Instagram. Her name is uh, Lola Bean Yarn Company. Oh my goodness, please go support the girl. I love her stuff. Then I tried to tell my mom because my mom is like, a knitter beyond knitters okay and I know she buys yarns and stuff mom you gotta go check out this girl support her and when I told her her name she goes oh I already know about her but yeah but yeah here's some of the projects I want to oh well, wait 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 I gotta show you this I love this fabric well fabric yarn and I have planned to do socks. I've had this yarn for another thing I've had for like 10 years. So I plan to do socks with it, but I changed my mind. I kind of want to do that shawl I was telling you guys about in this. But I'm wondering, is this going to be, this is a like a sock yarn. And is it going to be like, maybe I can incorporate that blue, that solid blue in here. See, that would be so pretty. In my brain, I see this. Hmm. Now that blue, is a, the strand is a little bit thicker than this. And like I said, this is like, it doesn't say a sock yarn, but yeah, that's what I would use it for. 
and I'm wondering if I don't know what y'all think maybe I should go get that blue so you can see maybe I should go get that blue no hold on I think I will I think I will what you think yeah a triangle shawl is what I want to do that'd be so cute I love those it's so cute okay so the other thing is I found this in a thrift shop years and years and years and years ago and I've always used it as a little project bag isn't that cool so cool I'm thrifty girl love a thrift shop always have always have gone there found great things even stuff to cut up and redo that's me that is so me okay so here's some some knitting i would love to do this is on my okay got this off a of ravelry free pattern isn't that cute the ade beanie yeah Okay, and I've always wanted to do a sweater. I'm nowhere near in skills as my mother, let me tell you. I'm like beginner knitter. Yeah. I love doing double pointed needles. I can sew on, I can knit on those and those are cool. I like that. They don't intimidate me. Um, but yeah, nowhere near what my mom is. Okay, and I want to do this. Masoni accomplished. Isn't that so cool? That is also a free pattern on Ravelry. Both of those are Ravelry. Okay. And then I found this one, which is cute. Uh, what is it called? Easy Going Knit Pullover by Yarnspirations. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anybody who knows me, I had cut, I had really long locks like these that went like down my back. When I turned 50, I cut them off. And then I just had my hair natural. And I had, then it, it, it grew from here after I cut off my locks till my hair was out to here, like four years later. And then my daughter started locking a year or so, a little more of a year ago. And I was like, you know what? I want to lock again. So I'm locking again. I love it. I loved my locks then. I don't know why I did. I think it's because I was heavy. I was 50. It was at the start of all this going on. And I was like, take it off. So yeah. All right. But this, that's so cute. So cute. So I want to do that as well. Okay. Um, okay, and that's something. I love my husband. Can I tell y'all that? Me and that one there have been through a whole lot. But that's what marriage is all about, right? I mean, we've been through some stuff that most some people go, girl, not me. And I love him. He goes out to work every day and I know he doesn't feel like it meaning because he's got other things that he's battling all praise to the most high he will get through he has gotten through and he will come through but uh yeah yeah so I'm grateful and thankful for him and for his mindset that he keeps going even when his body don't want to keep going you know what I mean and he loves his wife. Okay, so those are the things that I'm wondering about. Okay, and we're talking about the husband. Both of us are artists. Both of us love to draw and paint. So, I roller skate also. And our date night is roller skate night. But sometimes, and then especially when the COVID thing happened, uh, and we, you know, everything was shut down. We, well, we roller skated in the house. We still do. To this day, we still roller skate in the house. 
But the other thing is we um, also draw and paint. So we have like a sip and paint, draw, something, whatever, art, that media of art. So I've always wanted black paper to work with gel pens and just, that. I think that's so cool and I just want to experience that, right? So we went art shopping last weekend and guess what we got? Paper pad, yeah. See, because see? that's gel pen that they did. In. Sorry about the glare. That gel pen. And so I'm excited to work with that this weekend. And we're going to go roller skating. Mm -hmm. That's how we do. That's how we do. And I needed some new markers. So these were on clearance. Recollections. Never heard of them, but. These are on clearance. See? And it's an 18 piece set. And I kind of did some samples on watercolor paper. Yeah, it was good. So I'm excited about that. So now, the other thing I want to share with you guys is I really love those Midori Traveler's Notebooks, right? But you know me. I'm not spending. It's all good. I like it. Love it. I can't spend that type of money right now on that. And I'm not, especially when the Most High gave me hands to create. I will try that first anytime. I will try to, you know, if I really like something. So, I kind of made my own. I, had, I have a piece of hide. Is that how you say that? A piece of hide of leather that a neighbor gave me. Because they worked for a boating place leather. So he's like, Miss Stacy, here. You take this. Do your thing. I'm like, thanks. So anyway, look at that. Look how soft. And it's a soft leather too. Oh yeah. Okay, so I got kind of the measurements for it. And I made my own little cover. Look, see? I made my little pockets. I stitched them on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And I even did my own notebooks. These are all the notebooks I made. I didn't go buy no notebooks. The covers to all of these are, uh, what do you call it? Scrapbook paper, because I used to scrapbook. My friend, shout out to my friend Natasha Trinigal in Florida. Yeah. We used to, we worked together at one point and we used to scrapbook together her stuff was amazing let me tell you her stuff was amazing so i have and then over the years i've had this and then i inherited 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 did i say that right inherited a rolling case of scrapbook papers uh card stacks, scrapbook card stacks, all kind of stuff. Plus, yeah, I got a Cricut. See, look, I got a Cricut machine. So I'm on that too, yeah. I'm there too. See, Cricut machine right there, right there. So, anyway, back to these. So I had all of the covers are the solid color scrapbook paper. And then actually the white paper on the inside, I don't like that flimsy, thin stuff. See, I made a little pen holder for it and sewed it into there and look, these are buttons, Sarkovsky, crystal buttons. 
Okay. I'm saying something I forgot. That happens a lot to y'all. Just bear with me. Anyway. I made these notebooks. So I made two more just last night because I cut out one. Oh, I buy the, the less expensive sketchbooks. You know, you can find them um, kind of like anywhere. And I don't like the thin paper that a lot of these. I like thicker paper. Uh, because even though I journal in them, I do somehow want to draw or I have markers or pens that uh, uh, You know will ble sometimes bleed through and you can see it on the other side and yeah I'm trying to use every bit of the paper. I can do all kind of stuff. I like all that anyway I use that as the paper for the inserts of the Look, these were posted on Instagram just last night, but there's the yellow. See, ooh, that's kind of bright. There's the yellow one, and then there's the pink one. There it is. Ooh, it's killing me. Ooh, oh. That's kind of bright, right, y'all? Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's still kind of great. But yeah, and and look, you can buy these little elastic bands, a, a, a package of them. Joanne's Hobby Lobby, uh, Walmart, I believe, might even if you still have one that sells like some of the sewing stuff. Yeah, or not. Sometimes you can just find that thing there. So yeah. I made my own notebooks and all. So, I'm trying to learn how to do my own stickers as well. I stay busy, y'all. Got to. Got to keep it going. Okay. So, see this? I have a stack full of <laughs> leather, vinyl, that type stuff. And they're just squares. They were cutoffs from, they were samples that were going to be tossed. And I'm like, oh no, I'll find something to do. So, for a little bit, I was doing, I got this off of Salty DIY Mom on YouTube. And these are cute because they, this is two inch elastic on the back and it fits my phone notebook or so. See? See that? Yeah. So yeah, and it's so easy to do. I mean, it's not lined. It's just a zipper. See what happened? It's just a zipper and two inch elastic. That's it. So I made a bunch of these as well. So I'll leave that. I'll leave all. I'll leave all the links. If I forget anything, you guys comment down below and say, "Hey, Ema, you forgot something." And I'll put it down. Okay, this was the other one. Okay, this one started off as the same size as this one. Okay. But when I'm, and I love this because look, that's like a fake eel skin. Look at that. And I have a white one, but I think I'm going to do a bag out of the white one. I've had those for years too. My friend Marty, I bet you she knows. I bet you she knows. Mm -hmm. So I think she might have some too. But anyway. It was the same size as this one. And what I did was, when I made the soft leather one, well, I made this one first to be my faux dory traveler notebook. And I don't think I made the, I didn't make it wide enough, that's what it was. So my notebooks was kind of hanging out there a little, just a little bit. It didn't trip me up too much, but then, you know, sometimes like, no, do that thing again. So I went and cut the leather, real leather. This is vinyl. And I backed it with Decoville light. Okay. 
and I did that carefully because usually you cannot put heat on vinyl so what I did was I put the deco veil and I put the put the vinyl down then I put the deco veil on top and I took a um, Teflon sheet took my Cricut press perfect just don't leave it on there forever you know what I'm saying just enough to get that glue tacky so it can get down there then let that thing cool but anyway it was the same size as this focus Stacy focus okay and too much sticking out so I made that one and I said you know what because I went to Dollar General and I found these little composition notebooks they're, they're small. They're like passport size. And they were like 65 cents. So I said, oh. I cut this one down to fit the little notebook. Okay. My mother-in-law made those for me. The little stickers. Anyway. I cut this cover down to fit my composition books in. Cute, right? Yeah. So... I got this whole deal going on here now so I look real cute when I go to I don't go to coffee shops but <laughs> see look look at that so cute so cute so cute so cute okay so I'm happy and the world is the world but I thank y'all for listening to me. I thank you for tuning in and checking me out. Hope you come back again. What I'm reading, okay. I'm reading First Kings and I read a chapter a day. Today I read chapter three. I started on Sunday. So yeah, I missed a few days, but I'm on chapter three. I just read that today and then I kind of reflect and write down what I got out of that so I thank y'all again for stopping by please subscribe if you want, feel like it if you want to come back and hang out or if you don't it's all good and I hope you see me in a week I hope to see you in a week and I hope to see some of you guys on Instagram. I will leave a uh, link in the description of all those things, including my Etsy shop for the project bags. Come check me out on Instagram. I do have a Facebook, but it's my personal Facebook. I used to have one with my uh, crafts and makes and stuff, but I've since deleted that because I was trying to keep up with everything and I was mainly on Instagram most but I am on Ravelry too and I'm trying to remember what my name is on Ravelry. I think it's so butterfly, but I have to let you know I'm not on Ravelry like that, but I Instagram. I Instagram all the time. So anyway, thank you. It's Stacy or Simka. From Simka Souls, Simka Creates, Simka Souls and Creates. And I'll see you guys next week.